Footballer Danny Alves has been jailed for four and a half years after being convicted of raping a woman at a Spanish nightclub. The disgraced former Barcelona star learned his fate yesterday morning after being driven to the Barcelona court where he was tried earlier this month in a police van. The married 40-year-old father of two was on Thursday facing his first night behind bars as a convicted sex offender. He had been held on remand at Brian's two prison near the Catalan capital since his arrest in January last year. Elvis, whose lawyer confirmed today she would appeal, protested his innocence on February 7 after taking the stand on the last day of his three-day trial at Barcelona's Audiencia Provincial Court. Meanwhile, prosecutors had been pushing for a 12-year sentence for the 40-year-old Brazilian after being convicted of raping a woman at Spanish nightclub in 2022. Danny Elvis also admitted to be cheating on his wife, Joana Sands, but insists he had consensual sex with his accuser. He claimed he had consensual sex in a toilet at an upmarket Barcelona nightclub Sutton in the early hours of December 31, 2022 with his 23-year-old female accuser. The woman he was today found guilty of raping insisted the footballer had forced himself on her after hitting her when she gave her evidence in court behind the screen. The three trial judges confirmed in a 61-page written ruling released after Elvis learned his sentence in yesterday's morning behind closed-doors court hearing they had taken into account as a mitigating factor his prepayment of £1,28,000 he was ordered to give his victim as compensation. They concluded she had danced with Elvis before going voluntarily to a toilet next to Sutton's VIP area. The footballer had entered moments earlier in what they described as an apparent prior agreement to be with him in a more intimate space. But outlining what they ruled had been proven and had contributed to them convincing Elvis, they added, he tried to penetrate his victim by making use of his greater strength and throwing her on the floor and making her bang her knee. The victim asked Danny Elvis to let her leave, making it clear she wanted to get out of there, but he didn't let her.